Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A really interesting matchup of coaches in this game. One guy sort of subscribed to the old school philosophy. It's been ingrained in him from his time as a player. You keep the ball on the ground, you win with toughness, and you follow the rules that have always won football games. The guy on the other sideline, he doesn't believe that. He's pitched out the old book and he's writing his new one. Both of them have been very effective so far. We'll see which one comes out on top today. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 31. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw to the tight end. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. I really thought the defense had a chance to get their hands on him, but the ball went out of bounds first. That's got to be disappointing. From the 48-yard line, second down. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. He laterals the ball. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 32. Hey, look, 48. Hey, look, Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Right. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they make the stop at the 18. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. At the 22, California's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. From the 22-yard line, second down. to the halfback on the screen. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Third 
And this play is number eight on the drive. And a quick throw. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Knocked out of bounds at the three-yard line. That's a deep four one ball. That brings him second and goal. This is the tenth play of this drive. for a loss. That makes it third and goal. It's third and goal from the three, and this is a very big play for both teams. Turn this one from the seven. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48 yard line. Well, here comes the guy that we've all been waiting for, our player to watch this game. Wright's vision, his patience, Kirk behind center, really makes him a complete player. And Brad, both of those attributes are especially important anytime you're out on the road and you're playing in a hostile environment. This kid is really cool under pressure, and no matter how loud this crowd's going to get today, I don't think he's going to have much of a problem with blocking them out and playing his game. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. For their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it 35. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Check three, check three, check three, check three. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he's tackled the 39-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. That was a laser across the middle. Brought down at about the 31. Williams on the tackle. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Here's an opening. Inside the 10, and he's taken down around the four-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Ducks! job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. Brian is lined up to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. 
Tackle made the 37-yard line. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Tackle made at the 40. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Ducks wide receiver. We hope can make a comeback and get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. tie game at 7-7. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. shoved out of bounds. So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. From the 33-yard line, first down. On the delay, and he's brought down immediately. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Picks up about five on the option to the halfback. That makes it third, third down, and they need to get it to the 23. <laughs> Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Tackle at the 31-yard line, and they'll lose a yard there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive game. play call. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Van on the handoff. He makes his way to about the 32. Catches it, and that's all. That brings him second and five. The 42. That's a game of six on the play. First down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Nice to be one, nice to be one. Go, Mark, Mark, yes! Check three, check three, check three. He scrambled. Slides down to the ground. Call it a game of seven yards. That makes it second and two. And he's 
level at the 50-yard line. Seven yard line. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the thirty-seven yard line. He airs it out. No, incomplete. They went with the long ball, but he put too much arm into it. It looked like he overestimated the speed of his receiver on that one. Here's the eighth play of the series. Gets it out quickly. And they push him out around the 29-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. He's scrambling. Dives, and he's down. This is the 11th play of the current drive. Touchdown, Oregon! He's got two touchdowns on the ground today. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. He makes it to the 28-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 42. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That makes it second and 10. Tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Taken back three yards. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Ready! Let's it go. Got it to the sophomore. And they make the stop at about the 23-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. They'll spread the field with five wide. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Run inside, stop quickly. The Golden Bears are going to call their second timeout. Deep ball, laying it out there. Can't connect. You don't want 
want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Offense lines up in a five-wide set of defense, anticipating pass here. On the throw, incomplete pass. And they'll fail on fourth down. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon is up by a touchdown. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. From their own 23-yard line, second down. He throws it. Incomplete. Pretty good effort here by the quarterback of trying to squeeze that ball into a tight spot. Yeah, I know it was incomplete, but he didn't have too many other options. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. He's at midfield, and down he goes at the 40-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Once and all, going deep. Incomplete. Chucks it downfield. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. We played a half of football here. Oregon's lead is a touchdown. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect, and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We're yeah. loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Is it stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 27-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. 
Oregon up seven points. Makes it out to about the 36. That brings in second and man left, man left. Three down, three down. There he goes. And down he goes at about the 47 yard line. First down. Gets out to around the 32. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32. Inside the 10, and he shoved out of bounds at the 9. That makes it first and goal. There's some daylight. Touchdown, Ducks. converts the extra point. It was a five-play, 73-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. Brian looks ready to kick this one off from the five-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Oregon's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires it out, and he tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's got it with room to run. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Pushed out of bounds. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. Quick throw, and he's taken down at the 30 yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's at the 20. Brought down right around the 18-yard line. That makes it first and ten. quarterback in the gun with five receivers. The 
Two screen pass. He's taken down around the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, it's second down. They go with a run. Tackle made right around the 12-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and four. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's got an opening. And they get nice yardage on that run. Here they go. First and goal, down by a couple of possessions. And a quick throw. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Williams has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Golden Bears have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Oregon is up a score. And he's tackled at the 40. First down. Around the 49 yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. Got deep, got deep. Nice number one, nice number one. Check, check, check. Just go Raider. Check, go Raider. Check, check, check. Up, 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 up. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Direction. Tackle after decent pickup. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They That's don't want to seven on the play. Play. That, that makes, makes it first and ten. ten. Roger, Roger. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, run to the right. Watch one. Watch one. Check, check out. This goes Raver. This goes Raver. Check three. Check three. He fights forward to about the 36. That brings us second and nine. From the 36-yard line, second down. That's three down and one to go. The Ducks with a touchdown lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Oregon is up seven. He's on the run. Now he shows his running ability. 
They'll bring him down around the nine-yard line. So his fifth run of the drive goes for another first down. This offense is running the ball very effectively on this drive. run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. What is happening in Waco? We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. Hester is a determined runner and one that makes the most of every opportunity. He takes this opportunity to get it into the end zone. The mean green are on top, 7-0. Middle of the first quarter. Two touchdown ball game right now, 28 to 14 here. Brian is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 27 yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Now he's scrambling, and he has it on the corner. That's a great tackle at the 28. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. And he's level at the 27. Brad, not only did they give up the sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Van is back awaiting the punt. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, first down. Just under three to go in regulation. He's at the 30. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. First down. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. That's good for him. That makes it first and 10. Go, go, go. And they make the stop at the one. They run the option, and the pitch man will get credit for a nine-yard gain. The Golden Bears taking their first time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Touchdown, Ducks. And 
Cincinnati hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Hurricanes were ranked 19th. And after that bitterly disappointing performance, they can expect to be unranked next week. And for Georgia Tech, they've now won three in a row. And for Caps, he hit the 100-yard mark in this one. The Yellow Jackets get it done by two. You can feel the shock waves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Just over two minutes in the game. Wants to go long and does. Very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space. And he hits him hard at the 41. Second and long. He's going to go for the home run. Believe it or not, there are a lot of quarterbacks who welcome pressure. They want the defense to come after them because it leaves some gaps in the coverage. As long as they can make that quick read, it can go for a lot of yards. Now it's first and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Quickly, and it's almost intercepted. That brings up second and goal. They put everyone up on the line. Goes to the fullback and drop. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. They tried to fool him by running the same play again. Yeah, fooled no one there, Brad. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And a huge contribution from the aerial attack. Boy, they had some nice big pass plays on that drive. Taken down at the 42-yard line. Oregon's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's finally tackled at the eight. A run like that usually ignites the offense. So let's see if they can stay on a roll. So first and goal after that huge run. Just over a minute left. Touchdown, Oregon! And that rushing touchdown should put this one away, Kirk. Makes the PAT. A quick two play, 42 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25 yard line.
Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Quick throw. And down he goes, right around the 40. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. Under a minute left in the game. He's going to air it long. Incomplete. Brad, this is an example of the timing between a quarterback and a wide receiver just has to be buttoned up. He just simply overthrew a wide receiver downfield. Second and ten. Ball on the 40. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. Going deep. Lays it out there. He's got it. He passes for his third touchdown of the game. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he converts the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The mean green are on top, 7-3. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. California will use their final timeout. From the 37-yard line, second down. He takes a knee. He's at the 30, and he's taken down around the 24-yard line. Well, the offensive guns were ablaze all day, and it came down to who had one more shot. Oregon, 42. California, 28. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.